For months, local shelter workers had seen the sorrow in the eyes of a cat named Marbles as he awaited his fate in the crowded shelter. The day came when Marbles was to be put to sleep, a last resort for the overburdened shelter. But as the vet prepared for the procedure, he noticed something about Marbles that stopped him dead in his tracks. The vet's eyes widened with shock as he shouted, This can't be true! Dr. James, everything okay? One of the veterinarian nurses asked worriedly when Dr. James hesitated to put down Marbles. He stood frozen in the room with the needle in his hand and his eyes fixed on the cat. Without saying another word, he leaned forward, looking at something only he had seen. Suddenly he shot upright and yelled, This can't be true! Everyone in the room got silent, all waiting for an explanation, but none came. Instead, Dr. James walked out of the room, leaving everyone behind. Meanwhile, Marbles was still lying peacefully on the table, unsure of what was going on around him. Sophie, the vet's assistant, quickly ran after Dr. James. She had to know what he had seen. Dr. James was clearly upset about something, but Sophie couldn't understand what. His face was pale and there was sweat dripping down his forehead. Dr. James, what is it? She asked him worriedly. She never would have guessed what he said next. But what was going on with Marbles? What did Dr. James see? And why was he acting so secretive? It wasn't the first time the local animal shelter had ordered one of their animals to be put to sleep. There were just too many animals in need of a home and not enough homes that wanted a pet. It was a difficult decision, but it was one that had to be made. This time, it was Marbles' fate. A cat that had been at the shelter for multiple years. Everyone at the shelter loved Marbles, and that was one of the reasons why it was such a hard decision to put him down. Over the years, he had won over many hearts, but sadly, not the right ones, as no one could provide a forever home for him. Dr. James was called to the shelter to perform a euthanasia on Marbles, a dog struggling in the shelter. However, when the time came, Dr. James abruptly left, leaving everyone puzzled. Sophie, his assistant, tried to understand his behavior but couldn't. Driven by confusion, she sought him out at the veterinarian clinic, only to find chaos as all his appointments had been canceled suddenly. Sophie took charge, organizing the clinic amidst the anxiety over Dr. James's sudden departure. She managed appointments and reassured clients, but inside she felt unsettled by the mystery surrounding Dr. James's behavior. As she spoke with staff and pieced together their accounts of Dr. James's departure, Sophie grew more curious and determined to unravel the mystery. Learning that Dr. James had driven towards a neighborhood where he often helped stray animals, Sophie saw it as a potential lead and decided to investigate further. Sophie acted promptly on the new information and decided to visit the old neighborhood mentioned by her colleague, hoping to find clues about Dr. James's whereabouts. Despite feeling a mix of hope and worry, she was determined to uncover the truth behind his mysterious departure. As she explored the quiet, seemingly abandoned streets, Sophie couldn't shake the feeling of unease creeping over her. Suddenly, she spotted a car resembling Dr. James's parked nearby, igniting a flicker of hope amidst the uncertainty. With a mix of fear and resolve, she approached the car, ready to uncover the truth. The neglected house appeared untouched for years, evoking memories of better times with its worn exterior. Sophie's heart raced as she confirmed she was in the right place by spotting Dr. James's car. Taking a deep breath, she cautiously entered the eerie silence of the house, feeling like she stepped into a frozen moment of time. The air was thick with the scent of old memories as she explored each room, filled with remnants of the past. She discovered a door slightly ajar, revealing a dimly lit room where Dr. James sat among childhood relics. Startled by his presence, Sophie softly called his name, prompting him to share his connection to the house and his nostalgic memories of growing up there. Dr. James shared his childhood memories in the house, recalling the joy and safety it once brought him. Sophie, curious about the connection to Marbles, gently prompted him for more information. Dr. James revealed a photo of himself with a kitten, explaining that the unique mark on Marbles reminded him of his lost pet. Initially skeptical, he couldn't deny the resemblance and grappled with conflicting emotions. Sophie offered comfort and encouraged him to explore his feelings. 
She suggested that Marbles' presence could offer closure and a chance for healing, which seemed to resonate with Dr. James. He nodded slowly, considering the idea that this unexpected encounter could help him come to terms with the past, regardless of whether Marbles was truly his long-lost kitten. Inspired by Sophie's perspective, Dr. James made a decision. He would adopt Marbles. It wasn't just about the possibility of a past connection. It was about giving Marbles a loving home. He deserves a second chance, just like anyone else, Dr. James said with newfound resolve. His decision was made not out of certainty about Marbles' identity, but out of compassion and a desire to make a difference. Together, Sophie and Dr. James returned to the shelter. This time, Dr. James walked with a sense of purpose and hope. The drive back was quiet, but it was a comfortable silence, filled with unspoken understanding and anticipation. As they neared the shelter, Dr. James seemed more at peace, ready to start a new chapter with Marbles. At the shelter, Dr. James officially adopted Marbles. He filled out the paperwork and gently picked up the cat, promising to care for him with all the love he had. You're coming home with me, he whispered to Marbles. The cat, sensing the change, nuzzled against Dr. James, as if understanding that this was the beginning of a new, happier life. As they left the shelter, Dr. James and Sophie paused for a moment. They looked back at the building that had been the setting for such an extraordinary series of events. Life is full of surprises, Dr. James mused. They both knew that this experience had changed them. For Dr. James, it was closing a painful chapter of his past, and for Sophie, it was witnessing the power of empathy and understanding. Marbles quickly took to his new home, exploring each room with a mix of curiosity and excitement. He sniffed around, finding cozy spots and looking out the windows with wide eyes. The house, once quiet, now echoed with the soft patter of his paws. Dr. James watched, a smile on his face, as Marbles claimed the space as his own bringing life and warmth into the home. Each day, the bond between Dr. James and Marbles grew stronger. They developed a routine, with Marbles greeting him at the door and following him around the house. In the evenings, Marbles would curl up on Dr. James's lap, purring contentedly. These moments of connection were simple but profound, a daily reminder of the new friendship they had formed. In a quiet moment, Dr. James sat, watching Marbles sleep peacefully. He thought about the unexpected way Marbles had come into his life. It seemed like fate, a serendipitous twist in his otherwise ordinary life. This little cat had brought back so much from the past, yet also opened the door to a new future. Dr. James felt grateful for this unexpected turn of events. Caring for Marbles became a therapeutic experience for Dr. James. He found joy in the daily routines of feeding, playing, and just being with Marbles. Each day eased the pain of his past losses a little more. In Marbles, he found not just a pet, but a companion who helped him heal old wounds and look forward to each new day. The story ends with Dr. James and Marbles in a scene of contentment. They sit together, Marbles purring softly as Dr. James strokes his fur. There's a sense of peace between them, a bond forged by shared experiences and mutual comfort. Looking out the window, Dr. James feels hopeful about the future, knowing that whatever it holds, they will face it together. If this story touched you as much as it did us, you should watch this video. Man stumbles upon kittens in barn. When the vet arrives, he turns pale. Click here to get the full story.